Dozens of former Republican and Democratic officials are announcing a new national political uh, third party called Forward. In an op-ed in the Washington Post, key members write their goal is to, quote, build a new unifying political party for the majority of Americans who want to move past divisiveness and reject extremism. Our next guest co-wrote the op-ed, Andrew Yang, former Democratic presidential candidate, and Christine Todd Whitman, former EPA administrator and the former Republican governor of New Jersey, both with us now. Um, okay, Governor, to you first, and I'm going to challenge you guys on this because this so rarely works. So why will your effort work? Well, we're in a different time. Oh, right the now. appetite. Have better than 50 oh, go ahead, Christine. <laughs> 50. Okay. I said, when you, when you have 50% of the American people saying that they are registered independent, or the voters, of registered voters, a voter independent, people are sick and tired of what they're seeing in Washington and the fact that nothing major is getting done. It's frustrating them. They, we have big problems and we want to see them just resolved. And so we need to get back to a time when people will talk to one another. And we're talking about bringing people together. You can keep your party label, Republican, Democrat, Independent, it doesn't matter. But let's work together to solve problems. Let's elect those candidates who understand that our electoral process is the best in the world and it's secure. And we need to pick those candidates who will say, I'll work across the aisle because I want to get things done. So, Andrew, I want to correct myself. I said it so rarely works. It actually has never worked, just to be very clear. So let's talk about some of the obstacles here. And one might actually be the policies. Where, because look, there are significant differences policy-wise between Democrats and Republicans. What are your policies going to be that you can actually agree on? 62% of Americans now want a third party, a record high, because they can see that our leaders aren't getting it done. And when you ask about the policy goals, the fact is the majority of Americans actually agree on really even divisive issues. The most divisive issues of the day, like abortion or firearms, there's actually a common sense coalition position on these issues and just about every other issue under the sun. The tagline of the party is it's not left or right, it's forward. And when you think about what that would mean on each issue, actually the policy becomes pretty clear when you just ask the American people. The American people are fed up by the fact that our leaders aren't actually responsive to the needs or the will of communities around the country. So, Governor, let's take that issue. Guns, for instance. If mm -hmm. What would, the, what would the policy be that would unite enough people to make a third party successful? Well, first of all, understand what we're going to be doing is holding a series of listening sessions basically around the country to talk to people about that very issue. But I can tell you right now that you've seen in every poll, the majority of the American people believe there should be some kinds of restrictions, a waiting period. There should be a background check. Frankly, you don't want to put guns in the hands of people who've had no training. So you people would like to see some training. Those are the issues around which we can coalesce. We're not going to solve everything. We're not going to solve everybody's problem. And you're not going to make everybody happy, because as you rightly point out, there's a great deal of division on some of these issues. But when you start peeling back that onion, it's amazing how much common ground you can find. And then you have a position from which to move forward. And that's what we need to do. And once you start that process, there's going to be no stopping it, quite frankly. Andrew, guns, some agreement in Congress recently on this. Uh, is, is that not enough? Well, when you talk about the need for a political realignment, the fact is Abraham Lincoln won as a third party candidate with 39 percent uh, of the vote. We can all tell that this system is failing the American people. 88% of Americans think we're on the wrong track. We know that polarization is just getting worse, not better. Leaders like Governor Whitman have crossed party lines, and that's exactly what the American people want to see more of. The fact is this two-party system is disintegrating before our eyes and is uniquely subject to authoritarianism. Because if you have one of the two major parties head down a dark path, the entire system can go dark, which is not the way other democracies function, and it's not the way the founding fathers imagined our country functioning either. Different party system, though, right, over time. Governor, how do you get past the issue of closed primaries? I mean, that is key if you're going to make any sort of third party successful rather than just a spoiler. 
No, that's absolutely true. And it is a challenge, but it's happened before. We've gotten on the ballot. I was part of a process, oh gosh, now it must have been 12 years ago, where we were able to get on the ballot in enough states to get the requisite um, votes in the uh, Electoral College to qualify for the primary, for the debates, which is uh, one of the win things you want, the sanctioned debates. But you can do it. It's not going to be easy. We're not saying that this is going to happen overnight. This is something we're going to be working on. But we believe and really know that there's a hunger in the American people for something else besides what they're being given. And what we're saying is we'll give you an alternative. If you're interested in this, get in touch with us. Get in touch with us now. Let us know. We can build coalitions in your community, start talking about these issues, and let's move forward. That's what we're talking about. All right, Andrew, who's joining you? Elon Musk? We're going to have exciting announcement about new people and uh, leaders from every sector of American life joining the Ford Party in the days to come. Because again, 62% of Americans want this. The people watching this right now want this. You just keep being told you can't have it. But, but is the he, fact is, I gotta ask, this is, is the time. Is Elon Musk this is one the of those? You said Elon Musk. To come up and fix our politics. Elon Musk, one of those? I'm sorry? Is Elon Musk one of those? Well, Elon Musk did support uh, my presidential campaign. Uh, and let, let's just say again, we're going to have some very exciting announcements uh, in the days to come. He can be a divisive figure. Governor, who else? Who else do you want to see? Who else will be willing to do oh, this? As Andrew said, as Andrew said, we're going to be announcing uh, a lot of names, impressive mm -hmm. names, names that have money behind them, names that have political experience behind them, names that are respected by the American people. Uh, that's what we care about. We care about people who uh, will instill confidence in the American people, and so we can start to move forward. Um, you'll be hearing a lot. You'll be. It'll. You'll see that this really has substance. This isn't just some fly-by-night um, eh, thing that we thought of. Wouldn't that be nice to do? This has been carefully thought out. We're going to have a convention in a year, in 2023, and pull this together, come up with a platform, and be able to have candidates that will agree with the forward position and be on the ballot in the states. We have to, individual states have different methods of whether they allow candidates on the ballot, how you get on the ballot. We're researching and have researched all of that. This is a very thoughtful approach that we're taking. And you're gonna see, we'll be on the ballot. All we'll right, be I able will... to present candidates to the public. I, I will tell you, you've piqued some skepticism, but also I think some curiosity. So we'll be watching. Andrew Yang, Governor Whitman, thank you for being with us.